The weight of a stone weighs heavy on the shogun's mind. His wife, eager to please, but unable to deliver male air, runs thick in this household. The mother pours the sake for the shogun, knowing tonight her daughter will endure an unbearable discomfort. Yet still, the night is unaware as the moonlight shines through the window. Her mother exits the room, turning a blind eye and discarding her daughter to the far corners of her mind. Adorned in her grandmother's blue, green, and gold kimono, the undesired daughter cries silently as her intoxicated father corners and defiles more than the closing on her delicate being. The shadowy silhouette of leaves, branches, and beads of blood decorate the floor as the daughter defeatedly crawls to the far corner of the room, holding herself physically and mentally. Several months pass. The daughter is forced to live in a secluded part of the household, unable to move freely bearing her father's seed. Unfaced by her husband's actions, the mother's only worry is the safety of the unborn child, an inaudible accomplice in this horrific family event. Each night, the shogun returns home to a cup of poisonous tea or sake. The daughter, secretly taking her family's fate into her own hands. Hours ago, the family received the news that the shogun has fallen fatally ill. No longer is the undesired daughter bound by her earthly vengeance. Ink to paper, confessing her crime with the hope that she is forgiven, she writes a letter of apology to her unborn child for failing motherhood. Pure silence strikes the midnight air as she places the letter by her side. Once again, the undesired daughter adorns her grandmother's blue, green, and gold kimono as she stares down into her father's tanto blade, fatally sealing her family's legacy by seppuku. Her last words ring. May this house name be forgotten to the world. <laughs>